Luton Town, a team with a rich history and a lot of downfalls recently, have finally made it to the Premier League. The club has been on such a long drought since being in the promised land. Ladies and gentlemen, they missed out on the inaugural Premier League season by a matter of months. And finally, after all of these years, they finally made it back in to the Premier League. They've done the unthinkable in real life. Of course, they won the championship playoffs uh, in real life this season by beating Sunderland uh, to get to the finals. And they made it into the Premier League next season and i thought why not jump into fm23 which i haven't played for months by the way put luton into the premier league uh, as you can see right here and have a little go at survival question on everyone's mind is can luton town actually survive in the premier league can they do the unthinkable and not just get relegated back down to the championship next season we're going to put our skills to the test and see if we can save this team and keep them in the Premier League. Again, I haven't played FM in so, so long, so please do leave a thumbs up on the video and let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy this type of video. Let me know different teams as well that we can maybe do this with. I know Hertha Berlin just got relegated, so maybe we can do like a rebuild with them, try to get them back up as well. It's just going to be a one-off video. This isn't a series. There's going to be one episode, one video, loot and town, an entire FM season in one video trying to survive in the Premier League. And then if you guys enjoy it and want to see more FM, we can do more series. I know FM24 have a big series planned, but maybe in the build-up to that, we can have some mini-series here and there on FM23. Again, let me know in the comments down below and let me know also by leaving a thumbs up. Also, in the comments down below, ladies and gentlemen, where do you think we're going to finish? Write down right now. No cheating. Don't skip to the end of the video. Write down right now where you think we're going to end in the Premier League. I'm going to hazard a guess. I'm going to say we finish 15th, ladies and gentlemen. I think we do it with Luton. We avoid relegation and we finish in 15th. And again, if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see Luton maybe go on even more, we can make this into a series. If you guys really enjoy this and this does really want the channel, we can make this into a full series where we actually try to win the Premier League with Luton instead of just a one season video of us trying to escape relegation. I haven't played FM in so, so long. Like I said, I wasn't a big fan of FM 23, but I've got that feeling, you know, the Premier League season just ended and I've got that football feeling, that football urge to play some FM. We have all of the latest transfers, updates and whatnot. And I'm really in an FM mood. I took a look at our schedule and our first game, our first games against Manchester City at home, ladies and gentlemen, Kenilworth Road, Pep Guardiola is coming to the 10k seated stadium. The best away end in all of football, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> our last game is also at Kenilworth Road. Against Manchester United. It's going to be a fun season, boys. We have a transfer budget of 50,000. 50,000 pounds. Looking at the team then, our main goalkeeper, James Shea, is injured for seven to eight months with a DCL, damaged cruciate ligaments. Uh, these two goalkeepers are... Does purple mean they're loaned out? Out on loan. Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these purple names, which we can't use this season. Our goalkeeper is Ethan Horvath. Who's here on loan? Oh, this is going to be tough. So up front, we have Colton Morris, a pressing forward, 13, finishing 13 pace. We have a, uh, officer of a target forward, 6 foot 3, 15 heading. This is going to be brutal. It really, really is. We've never done a video like this before, though, like a one-off video on FM. And I always love FM. I'd love to get more Foot Manager on the channel. This was actually the first ever game on the channel was Foot Manager, I think, like 18 or something. So, again, if you do enjoy, please do leave a thumbs up on the video and let me know if you want to see more because this could be a lot of fun. We have Marvelous Lakamba on loan, of course. Um, I mean, with 50k, we don't really have a lot of uh, uh, wiggle room. We don't really have a lot of wiggle room in the uh, signing area of this team so i don't really know what we're going to be looking for of course because we're showing the entire season as well we're not going to show every single game just in case you're wondering because that would be absolutely and this would be like a five hour video so we're going to cut through you know we may do like one or two matches then you'll see us in like january one or two matches you'll see us at the end we're going to show highlights throughout get to the end of the season all in one video and hopefully avoid relegation right we're meeting the players where is avoid relegation um i'm very positive as our chance oh we all know we're favourites for relegation. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the start we wanted, ladies and gentlemen. The team morale. Hey, well, our starting 11 beat our second 11 5-1. So we're going to win the league, really. I guess the first thing's really first, ladies and gentlemen. Free agents, right, is the way to look. Uh, Danny Rose. Danny, Danny Rose. Danny Rose, really? What does Danny Rose want? You're about to end a contract negotiations to sign a player in, instead of... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, ask agent. How would you want to join? It wouldn't be interesting. Jerome Sinclair, can he still kick a football? Oh, goodness gracious me. We've got director of football, Simon Wilson. 
has come in to actually help us. We've got a scout and some coaches as well. We've got to beef up the scouting, uh, the staff department, because our scouts and staff, they're terrible, pretty much. They're terrible. Head of Youth Development, come on in. Another scout, a coach. There we go. We're beefing up the... Right, realistically, we're not going to sign anyone with this money, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to go to this Manchester City game and be ready for it. Oh, boy, this is going to go horribly. Well, we're at the first game of the season. We actually end up selling uh, Fred on your... For 1.5 mil. So we have some money now, but literally no one wants to join us, ladies and gentlemen. No one wants to join us. It's the first... Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. We're playing a 4-3-3 formation. Uh, Corley Woodrow. Corley Woodrow is up top. Uh, deep line forward looks to be the way to go. We have a winger on the right-hand side. If we switch that... No, he prefers it in... I think this is the team we go with. I mean, I'll be honest with you. There's not much wiggle room. In this team right now, we're playing a 4-3-3 formation at home against Manchester City. It's the first game of the Premier League season. We've got to see what's going on. I mean, if we could get a point from Manchester City, ladies and gentlemen. If we could get a point, we have the kits and everything. That would be special. I love this skin. They're playing a 4-3-3. Erling Haaland is up top. Oh my goodness gracious me. I'm not very confident, I'll be honest with you. Premier League season is underway. Kenilworth Road, Luton Town back in the Prem. Take it on Manchester City. What a game it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. That's the tack for Manchester City. Comes 16 minutes in from a corner. Off the post goes wide, though. Come on, boys. Arsenal losing at home to Fulham. Sounds about right. Sounds sounds about damn right. Can I demand more from the team here? Luton Town. The Tiki Taka. 2v's Tiki... Oh, bad pass. Really giving that away. Gundogan. Haaland. Bernardo Silva can't get there. Potts just gives it back to him. Freeman wins it back, though. Chip through ball. Holly for a full Luton Town are leading. Luton Town are beating Manchester City at home to kick off the Premier League campaign. You can't write it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. We are the man in charge. This is our team. We are surviving. We are not getting relegated late. Oh. Oh. Well, they come right back. It was fun while it lasted, ladies and gentlemen. It was fun while it lasted. Kyle Walker sprinting past everyone. Erling Haaland open goal. And it's 2-1. To Manchester City. Nice through ball. Haaland touch. Haaland shot. Haaland three. It is a hat trick. It's not gone to plat. At least we got to celebrate one goal. We were leading in the Premier League against Manchester City at one point. Oh, I was making a sub and they scored again. It's... Oh, no, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Freeman through on goal. Goes for the chip. Ah, we could have given the home fans another goal to celebrate. Oh, Luke Freeman injury. Knee injury. Was just about to take him off. Henry Lansbury comes on. The one thing we don't want right now is injuries. We barely have a team as it is, ladies and gentlemen. And whistle, 4-1 home loss against Manchester City. And, uh, well, the team morale is just at an all-time low right now. What a way to start the Premier League campaign, eh? What a way to start the campaign. We agree that Steffi Mavididi would be a great signing and we'll make the necessary arrangements to sign the player. So the director of football, they're giving us money to sign him? Oh, goodness gracious me, from Montpellier. I mean, if they want... Oh, my God, that's a nice page, that is. I mean, I'll take him, a nice striker. I'll take it if, if they're willing to, to spend money. Apparently, they're going to give us money. For me, that we have cancelled the... Oh, he's interested in joining a club before... Damn it. So he would have joined, but he didn't want to... Oh, god damn. We just don't have the money to sign anyone. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, this looted team is tough, eh? Uh, yeah, the first half of the season, it, uh, <laughs> it didn't go off to a great start. Did not get off to a great start. 3-0 loss against Tottenham. Uh, we managed to draw against Crystal Palace, actually. Uh, Adam Bayo, by the way, is a fantastic football player, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting away a lot of penalties. Our defence is letting us down in the first half of the season. But Adam Bayo gets a 93rd minute equaliser against Crystal Palace to get a 3-3 draw. Look at this. The ball goes in. A little tap. And he's been absolutely fantastic. And then we move on. I've never... 7-1. Another penalty. 7-1. To Fulham, ladies and gentlemen. I've never lost this bad on Football Manager before. I wanted to punch my screen throughout this entire match. Our defence just were non-existent, ladies and gentlemen. They were absolutely invisible. Absolutely awful. And we conceded seven goals at home. To and, and after this match, I thought that's it. We're done. We're relegated. We're not going to win a single match. We're absolutely done, ladies and gentlemen. We literally can't win to save our life. We got a lucky bounce there for our one goal, but it was awful. And then we go from a 7-1 loss to a 5-0 win. Against Nottingham Forest, some luck with the first goal, ladies and gentlemen, as we finally get some wins, some finally get some momentum. This is actually the second of a back-to-back -back win for Luton Town 
And after these two wins, I thought, okay, maybe with some momentum, we can start to figure out what we're doing. We switched our formation to uh, five at the back, two in the middle, uh, one cam, and then two strikers. We come up against Arsenal and Liverpool back to back. Of course, we didn't really expect too much. A 6-2 away loss against Arsenal. Some great finishing from them. Again, our attack is decent. Luke Freeman and Elijah Adebayo are absolutely fantastic. Our defence, however, is just non-existent. They are abysmal, invisible, and awful, ladies and gentlemen. And if we do get relegated, they are going to be the reasons why. They are absolutely awful. But hopefully they can start to pick up form. We'll check out the league table halfway through the season and see how we're getting on. Right then, we are in the January transfer, though, ladies and gentlemen. 14th of January. And as you can see, Luton Town are currently sitting in 17th. We are outside of the relegation zone by quite a while. We're quite a ways as well. Five points off. Four points off, sorry. My maths uh, aren't mathing right now. Four points off Sheffield United. We have three wins uh, and some draws. It's not been terrible. It's really not been terrible. Three wins uh, against... Uh, uh, let's go to our schedule, actually, first and foremost, because there has been some mental results, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we started off with a 4-1 home loss against Manchester City, and the losing form continued. In fact, the entire month of August, we lost every single game, ladies and gentlemen. It was not ideal. And then we kicked off September with a 3-1 home win, our first win of the season. Elijah Adebayo, by the way is incredible. Him, Luke Freeman, are keeping us alive right now. You'll see more of Luke Freeman later. We then went back on a losing and drawing streak, as you can see. Some terrible, terrible matches here and there. Uh, Fulham, by the way, 7-1. We, I don't... This match was bonkers, ladies and gentlemen. They had 14 shots, 10 on target. We had 9 shots. They won 7-1, ladies and gentlemen. Our defence just were not... Our defence weren't there, basically. Our defence were absolutely invisible. Uh, Mitrovic scored a hat-trick. It was absolutely bonkers. I've never I've never lost 7-1 before at home to, like, a, a Fulham. Like, it's not, if, if it was Man City, fair enough. But Fulham, it was absolutely crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we drew with uh, West Ham. We drew with Crystal Palace. They uh, We equalised in the 93rd minute, ladies and gentlemen. A brace from Adebayo. Fantastic match. Fantastic uh, match there. Then uh, two matches in November before the international break. And we won both of them, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-2 away win against Brighton. And then a 5-0 smacking against Nottingham Forest. Luke Freeman, who's been incredible as well, scoring four goals. Uh, in a relegation six-pointer was absolutely fantastic. The month of December came round, and again, uh, we had a couple of friendlies in there. 6-2 uh, loss to Arsenal. Again, I didn't really expect too much from that. A 4-1 loss against Liverpool. Didn't really expect too much from that. Uh, we join us, though, in January. We've just drawn against Bradford 1-1 in the FA Cup, ladies and gentlemen. We have Sheffield United next. They're 18th. We're 17th. So a win against them would propel us even further away from the relegation zone. And then we also have the replay against Bradford in the FA Cup. So I'm going to show you just highlights here and there. Just the goals uh, from both of these games. And then next time I see you will probably be the end of the season. And again, hopefully, we can actually avoid relegation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you look at our team then, if we go to goals over here. Uh, Elijah Adebayo, nine goals and three assists for him. He's been so, so fantastic. He really, really has. And then Luke Freeman has eight goals, eight assists. Uh, he's also been fantastic. Uh, as you can see in the last five games, 7.2 rating, uh, 7.26 for Luke Freeman. Uh, Colton Morris has also been rather decent as well. Four goals, three assists for him. Uh, the Luton team is interesting. I wouldn't mind continuing this and do like a full series with this team because it's actually quite an interesting, exciting team. Um, it really, really is. They're starting to get some money as well. You can see the overall balance is indeed going up. We have 40 mil in the balance now. Um, so the team, yeah, it's not looking too bad. We have Sheffield United now. Um, and again, like I say, with a win, it would be fantastic. The midfield is shocking. The midfield, like the star ratings for the team is absolutely shocking. We need to make some signings, but no one wants to join us. Um, that is the main problem right now, is just the team overall. I mean, you can see it's like two stars. It's literally Adebayo, Luke Freeman, um, and Carlton Morris is saving us right now. Adja Adebayo, by the way, is wanted by Chelsea, Man U, Newcastle, PSG, Borussia Dortmund, Bayern, and Real Madrid, ladies and gentlemen. That's how good he's been doing. He's wanted by the entire world. There's a lot of people that actually want a new contract in January. So, well, just to keep Team Morale up, offer them a new deal. But the only problem is that we don't have a lot of money 
um, to go around. Oh, we need a win here at home, man. We need a win. It feels good to be back here at home. We need a win in order to propel us forward away from Sheffield United. Here's Luke Freeman. Out to left-hand side. Morrison behind. Nice first touch. A nice first finish. A minute in, ladies and gentlemen. We continue our form. Luton Town are going to survive in the Premier League this season. Let's be having you. Interception. Luke Freeman, middle of the pitch. Ball up to Adebayo. Knocks it on. Morris touch. Morris shot. Colton Morris. We've switched uh, from two cams and one striker. We switched to one cam and two strikers. And it's been working flawlessly ever since, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. It feels good to be back on FM. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you want to see more FM on the channel. Because it feels damn good to be back. It really, really does. Oh, through. Morris. Touches down. Out to the left-hand side. Doty now. Pushing up. Blocked. Luke Freeman. Cannot get to the end of it. Campbell. Burke. Ball into the middle. Luke Freeman saved. Open goal. And it's three. Bish, bash, bosh. 3-0 home win. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now six points off relegation. One point off West Ham above us. Loot and town, we are flying. We have an FA Cup replay next. Uh, let's see if we can continue in the FA Cup. Last year's Bundesliga winners, Bayern Munich, have identified Luton striker Adebayo as a transfer target. Oh, no. £46 million for Elijah Adebayo. Eight goals, four assists. He's been so, so, so damn good for us. He really has. I don't think they've offered an official bid yet. Hopefully, we can keep him. Luke Freeman ah, out for two weeks. Not ideal. 1-0 home win. Luke Berry gets the gold in the seventh minute, ladies and gentlemen. And Luton Town advance in the FA Cup. That's extra money for us. They have Coventry in the next round. That is winnable. Imagine Luton Town taking on the FA Cup trophy, ladies and gentlemen. We're in January. We're out of the relegation zone. We are thriving right now. Even though the main goal is, of course, avoiding relegation, which right now we are doing. We're still three points above Sheffield United. We have lost our last couple against Manchester City and Liverpool. Arguably, you know, you're going to expect to lose to Man City and Liverpool. But we beat Aston Villa, which means Luton Town are in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup competition, ladies and gentlemen. Newcastle, West Ham, Man City, Chelsea, Fulham, Leicester, and Luton against Liverpool. I mean, if we can avoid relegation and at least get to the... Well, we've already got to the quarterfinals, so whatever happens here. What a season for Luton Town. But I thought we'd join back in now to see what happens. We are at home, ladies and gentlemen. Against Liverpool, it's going to be an extremely tough match. We just lost to them in the league, but I figured we might as well come back and see what is happening in the quarterfinals, ladies and gentlemen. Kenilworth, uh, Kenilworth Road is the stadium, and here we go. A lot, of this, uh, a lot of this video is going to be like, you know, highlights of all the goals and like post commentary talking over it and stuff like that, live com. But the big matches like this, we have to have live with you guys. And again, I don't expect to win. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't expect to win. But just the fact that we've got to the quarterfinal in our first season with Luton is not too bad. Chamberlain in the box. Ball goes in. Jota just squeaks one in. Evan Horvath could not keep it out. Jota squeaks it in and we go 1-0 down already. Half time 1 0. We've had one shot that entire half. Come on, get Adebayo a shot. Get Adebayo a shot, and it's an instant goal, ladies and gentlemen. Mo Salah through to Jota again. We don't want to go 2 0 down. Or what a save, Horvath. We might as well go for it. We're going to go attacking. I mean, if we don't, we're going out. Oh my god, a corner. Freeman pulling. Adebayo was there. Adebayo heads on, Morris. No, not close enough. Only as far as Chamberlain, though. Henderson spacing behind. Luis Diaz makes it 2. And that ends our FA Cup journey. The game ends 2-0. We do go out in the quarterfinals, but maybe that's a good thing. We got to the uh, quarterfinals, which was a big move anyway, and now we can solely focus on the Premier League. We're in the month of March, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have some tough games coming up. We have Arsenal, we have Tottenham, we have Man U. Some tough, tough games coming up. Three points away from relegation. As long as we avoid relegation, we've completed our goal for this video, ladies and gentlemen. The second half, well, the second half is already on the way, but the last couple of months are upon us. And hopefully, you know, one or two wins here and there, and hopefully we would have done it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you at the end of the season where, fingers crossed, we've avoided relegation. Well, well, well. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. The final game of the Premier League season. Luton Town against Manchester United. And you may be asking yourself, did we do it. If we go over here to competitions, ladies and gentlemen, 
you will see that Luton Town, in fact, did avoid relegation, ladies and gentlemen, with one game left. We managed to do it with a win over Burnley, a 2 0 win over Burnley. Uh, before that, we beat Everton. 4-1. Before that, we was on rotten form, ladies and gentlemen. All of these losses. 6-1 lost to West Ham. Uh, we lost to Fulham again. Arsenal, not in a forest. We, there was a lot of losing going on. But the last two wins is what done it. Sheffield United, not in a forest. And Burnley go down. And Luton Town have survived, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to quickly go to the last match. It doesn't matter because we've already won. Let's instant result against Man United. Maybe they'll get three in a row. Maybe. For the first time of the season, I think. We will get three wins in a row. But it was a success. Luton Town have indeed survived. We did indeed lose 3-0. So that means Luton Town finished one point outside of the relegation zone. And Luton Town survive in the Premier League. Ladies and gentlemen, what a team it's been, man. What a team it's been. Elijah Adebayo uh, in the end had 16 goals and 5 assists. Luke Freeman, 14 goals, 11 assists. Colton Morris, 12 goals. Seven assists. These three were the three main ones. Uh, Adebayo does want to move to a bigger club, which is not ideal. So if we were to do a second season of this, let me know in the comments down below, do you want to do another season? Adebayo might want to leave, in which case we would be screwed. Uh, I think we have some money for next season, though. We do. We're getting like 17, 18 mil next season. So that's something you can do. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We came in today into this video with a game plan of avoiding relegation and that is what we have done. 17th in the league. The real question is, can Luton do it in real life? Come the next Premier League season, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed. Again, if you want to see more one-off FM videos, or if you want to turn this into a series and see more Foot Manager on the channel in general, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on the video and a comment down below. And I'm sure we can do more, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a lot of fun to go through. It's been quite the journey and we succeeded. Ladies and gentlemen, much of us always take care and peace. Oh, I never want us to burn down.